Let's continue with this sequence of problems. It says to divide the answer to B by the answer to A in trigono trigonometric form and in A plus BI form. So in trig form, first of all, let's recall what our answer to B was. Our answer to B was in trig form uh, 6 cosine 90 degrees plus I sine 90 degrees and we're dividing that by our answer to A which was 2 cosine 330 degrees plus I sine 330 degrees And so dividing complex numbers is easy too because if multiplying them means that you multiply the radii and add the angles, dividing means you divide the radii. So let's just note that. We divide, we divide the radii or the R values and subtract the angles. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 90 minus 330, 90 minus 330 is negative 240 degrees. So our answer is 3 cosine of negative 240 degrees. plus I sine negative 240 degrees. So if, if you're not required to write your answer in standard form, then we could just stop here, right? This is our answer in trig form. However, often you'll be asked to turn your answer into, into trig form, I mean into standard form. So I'm going to just do that here while we're at it. So Let's turn this into standard form as well. To do that, I need to evaluate cosine of 240 and negative 240 and sine of negative 240. So I do that by noting that negative 240 degrees would land me, well, I'm in, rotating a negative angle, it would land me here, right? Where the reference angle would be 60. So check me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. right negative 240 would bring you bring you there, so that would be negative 1, this would be a root 3, that's a 2, and so now I know that this can be written as 3 the cosine of negative 240 is negative 1 half, plus I sine, oops, keep doing that, we're replacing sine, sine of negative 240 is root 3 over 2. And if we distribute, we get negative 3 halves, and then 3 divided by 2, glue that i in there, root 3. You could also write that as negative 1.5 if you wanted to, plus 1.5i root 3, so maybe we'll leave it like that. So in standard form, this is our answer. In trig form, this is our answer. We were also asked to do this division in standard form. So let me show you what that would look like, and hopefully you'll agree that trig form is much better to work with. So the division in standard form would look like this. So the top number in standard form was 6i divided by root 3 minus i. That was what our what letter A was above in standard form. Now to divide this in standard form, we don't like i's in the denominator. So in order to get it out of the denominator, we have to do we have to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So the conjugate of the bottom is root three plus i. 
And if I multiply the top and the bottom, I'm only multiplying by the number 1. But just note that that's the conjugate. And so what do we get? Well, <clears throat> the nice thing about multiplying conjugates is it always results in a number uh, that is not imaginary. So what I mean by that is if you we could do this out and without writing it out, root 3 times root 3 will give you a positive 3. Negative i times a positive i gives you a plus 1, right? Because i squared is negative 1, so that's a plus 1. But when you do the inner product, negative i root 3, and the outer, positive i root 3, and you add those, you get 0. So it's just 3 plus 1 at the bottom. And in the top, we can just distribute, so it's 6i root 3 plus, and then 6i times i is negative 6. So what do I get when I clean this up? This is equal to 6i root 3 minus 6 divided by 4, which I can split up and write as... Um, well, I'm going to put the negative 6 first. Negative 6 over 4 plus 6i root 3 over 4. And negative 6 over 4, you'll notice, is negative 1.5. And 6 over 4, again, is 1.5, so it's plus 1.5i root 3. So, of course, we get the same answer as we did over here, but I don't know about you, I think that trig form is a little bit nicer to work with, especially if we're not asked to put our answer in standard form, because it's so simple. You just divide those r values and subtract the angles, and trig form is just much, much more useful. But knowing both ways never hurt anyone. So there it is, multiplying and dividing uh, complex numbers in trig form and standard form. So on the next page, I have a couple of try, try on your owns. So go ahead and try these, see what you get. Notice it says to write your answer in A plus BI form, so make sure you do that. And you can check in with me uh, in class to see if you did it right.